kuwa na uwezo mkubwa katika taaluma fulani sio story kubwa. Ukubwa wa story unaanza pale ambapo unakuwa na uwezo na kuamua kuwasaidia watu wengine kuwapusha kama naradi ya kufikia malengo ambayo wamejiwekea kwenye maisha kupitia ujuzi ambao unawapa na kwa support yoyote ile ambayo unawapa. Hiki nicho ambacho Vincent Nasekwa anaamini ndo usudi ambao ameletwa hapa duniani kulifanya kwani ameweza kuwasaidia watu wengi kuanza na kuingia katika masuala ya digital marketing na kujifunza ujuzi ambao wengi wamefanikiwa kuweza kufikia malengo yao. Vincent mwenye uzoefu wa zaidi ya miaka 25 kwenye masuala ya digital marketing ameshajifunza na amefanya mambo mengi na kwa sasa anaendesha agency yake ambayo inaitwa Swahili Digital ikiwa imejikita zaidi katika masuala ya digital marketing ameshafanya kazi na makampuni makubwa kama NPC, Tigo, KBC pamoja na mengine mengi. Katika episode hii ya sita, niweza kuzungumza naye mambo mengi sana. Hakikisha unakaa hapo kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho ili ujifunze kuhusiana na masuala ya digital marketing. Unawezaje kuanza? Mambo gani unatakiwa kuzingatia? Ni nini usifanye ili uhakikishe unafanikiwa na wewe kutengeneza pesa ambazo ziko katika haya masuala ya digital marketing? Mimi naitwa Joey Kanana karibu katika Joy Media Podcast. Ikiwa ni mara ya kwanza kabisa kutembelea channel hii, usahau kusubscribe na kubonyeza alama ya kengele. Tukizungumzia digital marketing kwa nchi ya Tanzania, huwezi kuacha kuzungumza mchango wa mtu ambaye leo tunaenda kuzungumza naye. Karibu uungane nami kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Ah, uh, Brother Gilsent. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Najua kuna mambo mengi sana ambao mimi nimenufaika kutoka kwako. Okay. Na kuna vijana wengi na pengine sio vijana tu na watu wengine wengi ambao wamenufaika na mchango wako kwenye digital Kwee. economy. Yes. Kabla tujenda mbali nataka tuanze kukufahamu kwanza. Okay. Tunasema Gilsent, yes. Unajitambulishaje? Okay. Yes. Um kwa kifupi maana ni so kirefu kwa yes, kifupi. Of course. <laughs> yeah, kwa kifupi naitwa Gilson Mlaseko. Ya yeah, kwenye social media natumia Gilson uh, all the social media platforms uh, X, Instagram, YouTube na kadhalika. All the platform natumia the same the same name. Uh, mimi bwana yeah. nimeanza kufanya mambo ya digital ama ama social media ama digital marketing. Sema digital marketing fanya mbele kidogo yeah. kutumia mitandao ya kijamii yeah. muda mrefu kidogo. Let's say toka miaka ya 99 kwa kweli. Wow. Moyo mimi tisa, tisa, tisa. Yes. Um, at that time uh, tulikuwa tunatumia kwenye internet cafe kama mnakumbuka fikiri vijana wa sasa hivi sidhani kama wamezikuta internet cafe ya yeah. yes kwizi tunatumia internet kwenye kwenye simu but uh, one thing lead to another from using it kama to um, hobby and some place to kupoteza muda eventually mwaka 2012 na mbili tukafungua kampuni kampuni ya ya, ya digital marketing okay tukafungua agency yes uh, yeah so from there mambo yakaanza kuchanganyika hapo maybe tunavozidi kuendelea na interview yes. tell there zaidi na zaidi about the agency uh, na tumefikia mpaka sasa yeah, lakini bado ipo maybe short uh, ni vitu gani hasa ambavyo una deal navyo kwenye agency yako Okay. Yes. Uh, kwenye agency as any other digital marketing agency yes. tunafanya kila kitu kidigitali yes. kuanzia social media management yes. uh, ukiongelea website development application development sasa tunafanya training influencer wow. management email marketing uh, SMS lakini like SMS or digital yes. uh, um, a lot ya uh, media buying tunafanya ya yeah, okay. na consultation na mambo mengine mengi 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 kusiana na mambo ya kidigital yeah sawa sawa uh, mtazamaji najua kuna vitu vingi sana utajifunza ambavyo tu baadhi amevitaja hapa lakini gisent ambayo yeah. na mafanikio hayo makubwa yote ulionayo yes why uko very humble unaweza kufuatilia vijana wanaoibuka kijana na followers F1200 ukikuta anafanya kitu na kutosha mfollow yeah. umemsupport huyu umefuatilia huyu anachofanya hiyo humbleness unaitoa wapi ah uh, well yes unajua kwenye kibinadamu nafikiri kila 
lazima ujue wito wako ni nini. Ndiyo, ndiyo. I think kuna watu hawajui their calling. Yes. Lakini I think I found out calling yangu ni nini. Um, calling yangu ama wito wangu wito calling ni nini tunaita? Uh, ni kama sio Kiswahili lakini ni Yes, nadha ni wito kama ulivyosema Kiswahili sahihi. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yeah. yes. uh, ni ku, ni kusaidia kusudi lako la kuwepo duniani kwa kwa duniani. Yes. I feel yani nina nina, nina, nina feel vizuri zaidi niki, yeah. nikisaidia mtu jambo fulani. Okay. Kwa hiyo especially la kumtoa kutoka sehemu moja ama sehemu nyingine, especially yes. kwenye masuala ya, ya knowledge yes. ama anything to do with Uh, empowering people. Kwa hiyo okay. na na kuona mtu ana, anaendelea, anapiga tua na kadhalika. Kwa hiyo uh, hata hivyo na kuongelea so lazima la kwamba mimi saa hizi ninafanya training. Yes. Ya ni kwa sababu hiyo tu. Kwamba naona like mtu anashindwa kufanya kitu kidogo kama hichi. Yes, yes. Kini inawezekana kwa mtu mwingine ni kidogo kama hichi lakini labda mimi kutokana na experience yes, na nini yes. na, na muda mwingi nimefanya hivi vitu yes. kwa kwangu inakuwa rahisi. Lakini kwa mtu mwingine inawezekana ni ngumu kweli anifanya hicho kitu ambacho mimi kwangu ni rahisi. Kwa hiyo yes kuwa humble kuna tokana na maybe wito wangu ambao naona it's helping especially vijana ambao na sitaki wapitie same route nilizopitia yes. mimi au wafanye same mistakes nilizopitia mimi au yeah. waingae extra cost hizo yes. nilizoingia mimi kati mimi ninajua shortcut ya kufanya jambo fulani kwa hiyo i feel happy i feel nikilala yani nalala in peace nikiona kuna mtu fulani leo nimemsaidia jambo lake Wow. Yeah. Ulipozungumzia swala la kwamba kumsaidia mtu wewe unaweza kaona kwamba ni kitu kidogo au cha kawaida yeah. lakini namna mtu anavyokipokea na kuwa ni kwa ukubwa zaidi yes. I feel what you say. Okay. Kwa mimi pia nafundisha uh-huh. nina audience na wanafunzi wanao ni follow. Uh-huh. Kwa wakati mwingine kwa uwezo wangu naweza nikafanya kitu kidogo cha uhakika lakini mm-hmm. shukrani ambayo mtu anakurudishia exactly. ni amazing. Exactly. Lakini exactly. kama ulivyosema mwanzo moja kitu ambacho Mungu amekubariki na we kama ulivyosema ulishagundua toka mwanzo kwamba wito wako ni nini? Yes wewe ni mtu bora sana kwenye kufundisha. Unajua unaweza kukutana na mtu namna anavyokuelezea kitu. Yaani mambo haya digital mm-hmm. sio marahisi lakini pia sio magumu. Yes. Lakini kwa namna ambavyo wewe unaweza kuelezea kitu. Mm-hmm. Ini very simple way ambayo mtu anaweza kuanza kufili kwamba kumbe hichi kitu ndio hiki. Yeah. Na kumbuka wakati tumekutana kwenye event moja mm-hmm. ulikuwa mmoja wa watu ambao walizungumza uka yeah. unaelezea namna unavyoweza kuinteract na digital yes. unaweza ukaingia kwenye hii mitandao mbalimbali ukafanya mm-hmm. kama visual assistance yeah. unaweza ukawa ni middleman kwa maana wewe sio designer pengine mm-hmm. sio kila mtu anatakiwa ajifunze design mm-hmm. ukawa mtu wa katikati mm-hmm. ukatafuta mteja then ukaongea na designer ukapata mm-hmm. pesa yes Yaani namna unavyoelezea ni amazing kiasi kwamba mtu haoni ugumu wa kuingia kwenye digital economy. Exactly. Although bado changamoto ni kubwa Kuhu. sana kwenye uelewa kwa watu wengi. Kwa mtu ambaye anatazama, mm. um, anataka kufahamu leo digital marketing ni kitu gani. Okay. Yes. Um, digital marketing labda nitoe mfano yes. Yes. <laughs> Pati ya training ime. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> digital marketing ni yes. kama msitu. Ndiyo, ndiyo. Okay, msitu mkubwa alafu ndani yake una, una miti mingi okay kwa hiyo yes. kuna, kuna msitu alafu kuna kichaka yes. okay sasa digital marketing ni kama <laughs> kama msitu asa ndani ya digital marketing kuna vitu vingi 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 okay lakini kiufupi ni, ni njia ya kuweza ku, kujipromote kupitia channels mbalimbali za kidigital ndio ndio okay kwa ni, ni, ni njia ya kujimarket lakini kupitia digital, digital channels digital channel, asa hizo yeah. channels ziko nyingi yani ziko ziko channels aina nyingi na um, ili sasa uchague channel gani ambayo ina, inafaa wewe uweze kujimarket sasa yes. inategemea na vitu vingine vingi including uh, wewe unataka kuitumiaje unataka kuitumia kama yes. uh, digital marketer kama mimi yes. au una biashara ama una um, unataka kufundisha ama whatever unataka kufanya yes. you know yes. sasa the way ambavyo unataka kuifanya ndio utachagua kitu gani ambacho unataka kujifunza ndani ya digital okay. marketing lakini ndani ya digital marketing yes. unakuta kuna social media marketing na kuna affiliate marketing search engine optimization si kuna media buying kama unasema online media buying kwa yes. ndani yake kuna mambo ya anmongele uh, email marketing, yes, email marketing. Yes. so there is a lot of other small small pillars ambazo ziko mle ndani uh, ambazo wewe sasa unatakiwa ujue 
chaka lako sasa kwenye ile msitu mkubwa digital marketing yes, uone yes. sasa kwamba mti gani uruke either niwe uh, mtu wa social media ama niwe mtu wa email marketing ama yes. niwe mtu wa search engine ama nichukua affiliate marketing na mambo mengine kama hayo <laughs> umeongea kitu cha msingi na ambacho mimi watu wengi na kutana nao yeah. <laughs> mtaweza kukutafuta na kwambia Joel naomba unifundishe digital marketing yes um, unachogundua ukimuuliza zaidi unataka kujifunza nini yeye anasema tu mimi nataka kujifunza digital marketing yeah. unagundua kwamba watu wengi hawana uelewa mkubwa wa mambo yes. mtu anadhani kwamba anaweza kafanya digital marketing kama ilivyo mm. kumbe ni msitu ambao inabidi uchague aidha ufanye content marketing kama hivi tunavyofanya exactly, yes. au ufanye email marketing yes. mambo ya so, uh, kama ulivyozungumzia CEO mm-hmm. na vitu vingine vingi mm-hmm. so kwa mtu ambaye anataka kuanza leo kujifunza yeah. we binafsi unamrecommend afanyeje na anajifunza wapi so mtu ambaye anataka kujifunza digital marketing yes. kuanzia sasa kuna kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mtu anatakiwa kuangalia Um, nafikiri kuna kitu cha kimoja kwanza muda wako mwenyewe ambao unao uh, kitu gani ambacho uko nacho na interest hautachoka maana mambo yetu ya yenyewe unaweza uka give up <laughs> yes, yes. katikati ye yeah, ni interest yako hicho kitu uki, ukifanya but kuna kama unasema kwenye kichaka chetu cha digital marketing kuna vitu vingi kuna vitu, yes. lakini sasa kwenye vile vitu vingi ambavyo vipo kwenye hicho kichaka chetu sio lazima ujifunze vitu vyote at once yes. unaweza kaanza kimoja baada ya kingine baada ya kingine eventually ukajikuta umevijua vitu vyote Ex- example mi, mimi mimi sio kwamba eti automatically nilijua vitu vyote at once yes. yani nilikuwa kila ninavyozidi kuendelea mbele na, najua hichi yes. najua kile najua hichi najua kile kwa hiyo Naweza nikasema mtu anaweza kaamua labda niseme naanza na social media marketing kwa okay. mpanda digital marketing. Okay. Kwa sababu ndani ya social media marketing pia kuna vipengele pia. Yaani sio tu ukisema kwamba social media marketing ndio umemaliza. Yes. No, ndani ya social media marketing kuna vitu vingi kweli vya kujifunza. Kuna mambo ya strategy yes. una, utajifunza mule. Adi photography, mm. videography nao ipo ndani ya social media marketing, you know. Yes. Uh, copywriting ipo ndani ya social media marketing. Uh, graphic design iko ndani ya social media Kabisi, marketing. Yes. Uh, influencer management, sijui a lot of things viko ndani yake. Kwa kuna small small other skills ziko ndani tena unakuta ya ya kipengele fulani. Kwa hiyo okay. you can start small, you can start with one ukaenda tena kuongezea kingine 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 in long run ukawa fully digital marketer wow. yeah kwa hiyo uh, mara nyingi huwa nasema ukichana na mfano kwamba nasema digital marketing ni kama msitu yes. lakini mfano mzuri digital marketing ni kama pilau okay ndio <laughs> bwana ni kama ni kama pilau pilau unajua haiwezi kuwa pilau Uh, bila viungo mbalimbali nyama si mchele mafuta maji si vitungu saumu darasini si yes, yes. vile kwa hiyo ina maana exactly the same kwa ndo sasa leo kinaambia nikitaka kupika pilau yes. inaanzaje <laughs> you know? kwa okay. viungo kwanza vi collect kunaanza kiungo kimoja baada ya kingine si mafuta okay. no neka chumvi uneka hivyo ndo sasa unaanza kuanza si social media email marketing eventually mm. pilau lako lako limesha hivyo wow yeah um expectation ni kubwa mm. ya mtu yoyote yule anayetaka kujifunza maarifa fulani au kufanya kitu yes. ni kupata income ni kutengeneza pesa exactly monetization yeah. so mtu, uh, mtu anaweza kumonetize vipi ujuzi huo akishajifunza labda social media marketing akishajifunza mm-hmm. digital na vitu vingine kama anapateje pesa Sawa. ili ah. achieve malengo yake yeah mwanzo niligusia lakini size nitasisitiza tena yes. vizuri zaidi yes. Um, uzuri bwana wa hii skill ama hizi mambo ambazo tuna kwanza kwanza bidio tuelewe kwamba ni, ni ujuzi yeah. it's a skill yeah. yani ni knowledge na ni ujuzi yani kuwa digital marketer ama social media marketer is a skill yes. na mara nyingi zaidi tu huwa tunaambia watu lazima una, una skill fulani ili uweze kupata hiyo hela mtandaoni maana watu wengi ukiwaambia ah kuna hela mtandaoni na <laughs> yes. tu nikiamka asubuhi nikiingia yes. google yes. au nikiingia youtube boom nimekuwa yes. milionea no mm. you need to have something yeah, lazima una kitu lazima una skill fulani yes. then unaweza uka, uka, ukaenda kule kwenye mtandao ukapata kitu yes. Yes. so back to the monetization monetization there is a lot of ways you can monetize uh, digital marketing i must be specific labda vosema social media marketing 
moja aziono sasa hivi kuna wafanyabiashara kibao wengi 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 na kila mfanyabiashara sasa hizi yuko online kila mfanyabiashara yuko online hasa hao wafanyabiashara ambao wanaenda online pia wata, wanahitaji watu wa kuweza kuwasaidia either ku manage zile account zao uh, kununua matangazo kutengeneza post kufanya vitu vingi sana kwa hiyo maana ukitoka na hiyo skill yako pale wewe ni rahisi kabisa uh, kuweza kumuuzia wale wafanyabiashara ambao wanataka kujitangaza kupitia hii mitandao ya kijamii. Okay. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukafanya hiyo ni njia moja wapo. Njia nyingine let's say we unaweza ukaenda kwenye mitandao ambayo uh, tunaita ya kuuza ujuzi. Yeah, let's say ukaenda kama Fiverr, ukaenda kama uh, freelancer, mm. ukaenda kama Upwork ambapo pia kule kuna watu ambao wanatafuta watu wenye ujuzi kama huo ambao wewe unaweza kuuza ujuzi wako si ndio yes. let's say unataka kuuza ujuzi wako wa social media na kadhalika njia ya tatu unaweza ukafungua agency ukawa kama sasa nao kama mimi na maana wewe una kampuni yako unafanya kazi wengine ambao pia unafanya kazi na makampuni makubwa exactly the same labda unauzia unasimamia influencer wao ama unasaidia una kufanya email marketing na kadhalika okay? okay kingine unaweza ukaajiliwa okay now ukiangalia trend kubwa watu wengi wana, wana wenye makampuni wanatafuta watu wenye ujuzi wa digital marketing yes. ujuzi wa social media marketing email marketing na kadhalika kwa ina maana unaweza kutumia ujuzi huo huo kuweza kupata kazi ukawa employed Nyingine tena unaweza uka ukauza uka kwa njia nyingine ukawa mwalimu sasa na maana nao yes. baada ya wewe kuwa umekaa tu you can actually start teaching kusiana na na hichi kitu um there is so many yani ukiamua tena ina maana mm. now you can start a podcast like this one yes. ina maana nao ukawa unaelezea kusiana na jinsi ya kufanya digital marketing na nini na nini ukapata matangazo na watu wakaweza kutangaza kwenye kitu chako Unaweza ukawa na YouTube channel ukafanya the same thing. Okay. Unaweza ukatengeneza ebooks. It's unlimited. <laughs> yaani <laughs> naweza nikakupa njia zaidi ya tamia ya okay. jinsi gani unaweza kwa monetize his skill. Wow, uh, tazamaji I'm sure kabisa kuna vitu vingi unapata kutoka kwenye hii conversation. It is possible kuanza leo kujifunza digital marketing yeah. na basically ukachagua kujifunza kitu kimoja kimoja then ukatengeneza pesa na kuishi maisha ambayo unataka. Yeah. So maybe tuzungumze kuhusiana na hali ilivyo sasa. Yes. Tunaona kwa sasa content creators watu walioko kwenye digital kwa ujumla mm-hmm. wamekuwa wengi, graphic designer na watu wanaofanya vitu kama hivyo. Yes. Um, unaonaje uh, maendeleo ya sasa kwa maana kwamba hali ya kipato ambacho designers content creators wanakipata sasa mm-hmm. yes kinaendana na kasi ambayo tunaenda nayo au kama kuna gap au kuna challenge unadhani ni zipi yeah um, kwa sababu mimi nimekuwepo humo kwenye kwenye evolution yote yes, yes. and from wakati huo tulikuwa tunasumbuka kumconvince mtu kama social media yes. marketing ni kitu paka mm-hmm. sasa hivi yani at least watu wenyewe wanakutafuta yes. kwa yeah um, kuna watu wengi ambao wameingia kwenye hii industry uh, naweza kusema kuna watu wengine wanafikiri labda kup- akiweza tu kupost kwenye social media tayari kishakuwa social media mm-hmm. marketer yes, yes. yes it's a challenge na kuna watu wengi ambao Uh, wanaharibu naweza nikasema pia hata hiyo industry yenyewe yani unakuta yes, mtu sure. uh, sio ukweli yani ni, sasa huyo mtu ambao sio ukweli anatuharibia sisi wengine wa ukweli kwa unakuta mteja akakutana na watu waongo watatu kwa wewe ukija hata ukimwambia chochote ah wewe ni, ni wale wale you know <laughs> dio, dio, dio. yes so that's a challenge ambazo nyingi nimeiona nina, 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 nina ama yes. challenge kubwa ambayo nimeiona lakini kwenye opportunity na kwenye kipato especially ambapo umeongelea yes. um siwezi kusema tumeweza kufikia exactly pale ambapo tunatakiwa kufikia yeah. uh, na hiyo pia inategemea naweza nikasema kuna kitu ambacho hapo nyuma siku kimeshen to be specific um, kwenye aina ya wateja ambao una, unafanya nao kazi nao hiyo ni challenge nyingine okay. yeah, kuna unaweza ukawa unafanya hichi kitu na unaweza kusema hey, Gil Center sema huko kuna mokoto mbona siaoni <laughs> umeelewa yes. ni kutokana na aina pia ya wateja uh, mara nyingi wanashauri mtu aangalie 
quality over quantity maana mtu mwingine anaona tu ah, na vichwa vingi sana mm, nimepiga huu mwezi afu kiangalia shilingi ngapi nimepata sina wakati mm, unakuta kuna wengine kama sisi tunateja wawili miaka mitatu lakini hawa yes. wateja wawili wako vizuri yani akikulipa mshahara hata yes. akulipa mshahara akikulipa mara moja kwa mwezi yani ni hela fulani unaweza kutumia hata miezi sita yani yes. ukakulipa once so aina ya watu ambao ufanya nao kazi pia ina mata sana especially ukitaka kuona hiyo fursa ama yes. ukiweza kupata hizo um, ayo ma- mafanikio lakini sasa worst case scenario naweza ningasema pia ni um, siyo ni dunia ama ni kwetu Tanzania kwamba ili uweze kuona mafanikio vizuri zaidi yes. lazima tunaita uwe umejirasimisha lazima uwe una kampuni yani ukiwa tu ni uko tu mtaani una yes. freelance nini yes. Yes uweze kuona hizo ya like kusema kweli cuz i been there yani nisha kuepo sina kampuni na nikaepo nikiwa na kampuni na nishaona watu wengi ambao na kampuni yes. na sisi wenye kampuni ukaona kabisa ni kuna utofauti mkubwa utafauti, yes. watu wote ambao tunafanya digital wenye kampuni at least we, we can work with big brands hata kama brands za kawaida makampuni mengi ambao natoa deal za maana watakuliza una FD machine umesajili una you know una business license yes. na vitu kama hivyo sina kwa at the end of the day utaisha kugombana gombania wale watu hao wadogo wadogo ambao ukimwambia mtu nilipe laki tano kwa mwezi unakuta laki tano ndio mtaji wake umeona bwana yes, kwa hiyo yes. yani mtaanza tu kuchezea hela hizo za chini chini hapo okay. au ukimwambia nataka nifanye digital marketing mtu aone hata umuhimu wake lakini makampuni hapo makubwa ambayo ukiwaambia unataka kufanya digital marketing utafanya social media strategy na kadhalika even wao wenyewe nakutafuta kwa sababu wanajua umuhimu wake yes. you know yes. kwa hiyo probably hapo naweza nikanielezea kidogo challenge ambazo zipo course, yes. yeah, na, na how people anaweza kazi overcome yes. kwa hiyo ukitaka kuona matunda ya hichi kitu kwa rasmi mm. kwa rasmi I, I know it's difficult. Yes, <laughs> of ni ni, ni nafu sasa baya zaidi kwamba hii ni challenge ambao wengi huwa tunawaambia tunawaambia especially wanaochipukia lakini pia ni challenge kubwa. Ukuta mtu sasa anaanza naambia wewe rasmi. Kuwa rasmi kwa wewe kunahitaji hela. Unahitaji pesa. Sasa utakuwaje rasmi wakati wewe wewe unataka hela ili uwe rasmi. Yes, you know, so you it's a, it's a very very challenging situation lakini haina budi. Yaani changisha uza simu fanya unavyoweza lakini tu, the moment utakapokuwa rasmi. Yes hapo utaanza kuona matunda utaona yani utaanza kuziona hizo hela zenye hata kama wewe ni photographer videographer you will see the difference uh, compared to na mtu ambaye hauko hauko rasmi or else then mm. uamue kabisa wewe full time una freelance na freelance internationally not yes. even mm. even locally locally yeah yes of course hiyo ni challenge ambayo of course iko wazi kwamba yeah. usipokuwa rasmi na kuwa changamoto so, kuaminika yes na kufanya kazi yeah. na na kampuni lakini tubaki hapa hapa kwenye watu ambao wanataka ku freelance na ambao tumesema ni wengi zaidi ambao pengine anaweza kawa hana mtaji yeah. wa kuanzisha kampuni leo ambao pengine hata ina thamani ya milioni moja yes yes so mtu anafanyeje sasa mm-hmm. katika kipindi ambacho kwa sababu struggle mm-hmm. na sehemu ambayo watu wengi wanakata tamani pale baada ya kujifunza yes. kwa sababu mtu anaamini atajifunza mm-hmm. baada hapo atatengeneza pesa mm-hmm. gepu la kutoka kwenye kujifunza mpaka kutengeneza pesa linawafanya watu wengi wakate tamaa sure. na pengine wawe na hizo kauli za kusema kwamba hakuna pesa yeah. yes hapo watu wafanyeje zaidi okay. kwenye hilo gepu hapo bwana yes. kuna vitu viwili vi naweza nikasema moja kwanza ni kujenga brand yako yes. maana sometimes unaweza ukawa kuja hujawa hujafikia hiyo level yes. lakini kuna watu wakubwa wakakuamini na wakupa Wala kazi ya yeah, lakini sasa hiyo inatakiwa uwe ume, umejenga jina yani na maana na unajengeje jina ni kutokana na kazi unazozifanya uh, na branding size hizi hata huna haja ya kuweza kuanzia mbali yani we mwenyewe kwanza inabidi yes. ujibrand yes. yeah, watu <laughs> watoto wengine ndio kujibrand yes yes hii ni shortcut ambayo naweza nikaisema unaweza uka, ukaitumia pia kama unaona kufikia uh, level ya wewe kuweza kuwa na hela kusijifungua kampuni umeshapata material yes one yes unabidi ujibrand unajibrand vipi Uh, social media nayo imekuwa kidogo rahisi kwa sababu wewe umesema ni mtu wa social media yes. basi tuone tuone majabu yako yes. wewe ni videographer tuonyeshe yao majabu yako kama wewe ni photographer yes. okay yes. na by doing how can you do that by maybe giving pro- 
providing ama creating content around things ambazo wewe umesema unafanya mm. sio yes. tuzione uh, in other words you, you need to start peer uh, building community tunasema ama build audience yes. yani na maana hapo ulipo maybe huna page yako ina watu 10 20 yes, yes. sasa hivi now yes. inabidi yes. unaanza kujenga kujenga watu wengi wanaokuamini wanaokupenda na kusikiliza wanaona vitu vyako eh hey, ujamaa mkali hawa watu watakupa references wengine watakupa kazi directly wengine watakuunganisha na kazi za watu wengine ambao wanafikiri wanahitaji kitu ambacho wewe unachokiprovide na kadhalika kwa sababu hata mimi mwenyewe nikiangalia mostly uh, connections zangu nazipata through that yani na maana nakuta mtu alikuona mtandao yes. alikusikia aliona yes. your content somewhere kuna ujamaa huyu jamaa anawaga na material fulani makali sana hem ngoja tumuite hapa aweze kufanya jambo moja au jambo lingine yes. you know so kuji brand it's a biggest thing ambayo pia inaweza ikaongeza trust kwa sababu hicho nacho ni kitu kingine muhimu yes. watu wengi wameweza kukutana uh, na watu wakaamini na wakafanya kazi mbaya. Sasa ina maana ili mtu aweze kukuamini lazima aone pia kwamba yes. wewe unafanya. Yes. Then baada ya hapo yes. hao ambao utapata opportunity ya kufanya nao inabidi ufanye kweli. Yaani ina maana kama <laughs> yes. umewaidi level asilimia kumi, yes. wewe inabidi uwape asilimia hamsini. Yes. Ama umewapa asilimia mia utafanya fanya asilimia mia mbili. Yaani ina maana akitoka pale yes. ni rahisi kabisa kukurefa kwa mtu mwingine asilimia tisina tisa ya wateja wangu mimi ni through word of mouth. Wow. Kwa mfano ukiangalia even kwenye social media zangu I don't even market or promote myself yes, yes. ever. Ila ni wale watu ambao nimefanya nao kazi wao wanaambia watu wengine walifanya nao kazi. Kwa it become even easier for me. Hata kama nitaenda nita apply tender, nita apply nini. Ah yes. uh, niki wakisema na Gilson, ah Gilson, ah hey, tunafahamu ushafanya na watu fulani, ushafanya na fulani 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 become even easier kuliko Uh, ningekuwa sina chochote hamna mtu ananijua hamna kid, you know na as we all know our uh, dunia inavyoendelea sasa hivi yes yani ulimwengu wote 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 uko hapo mtandao kwa yes. ni wewe kuweza kujionyesha pale makali yako then from there mambo yako yanaanza kuwa maraisi wow kwa hiyo mtu atengeneze portfolio ili yeah. watu waweze kuona uwezo wake anaweza exactly. kufanya nini. Exactly. Na umezungumza kitu cha msingi sana hapo kwamba hakuna marketing ambayo ni powerful kama word of word mouth. Of mouth. Yes. yes, tunatumia social media na aina nyingine za marketing lakini mteja ambaye anakuja mm-hmm. ameshaambiwa na mtu fulani mm-hmm. anakuwa na imani kubwa sana na wewe na so. anaweza guarantee moja kwa moja yes. kukupa yes. kazi. Yes. Yes. Najua wanafunzi wangu wa design ili swali lazima watataka kujua. Yeah. Sasa hizi watu wanajifunza mtu anaweza akaamua kujifunza Photoshop peke yake mm-hmm. akaingia sokoni pengine akajinadi kama designer au akasema akasema nataka kupata kazi mm-hmm. mtu mwingine anachukua kamera anajua kupiga picha vizuri mm-hmm. anajua ku retouch yeah. hebu niambie nyinyi waajiri kampuni huwa mm-hmm. mnaajiri watu wa namna gani kwa sababu mtu anaweza akajifunza ujuzi fulani specific mm-hmm. lakini kwenye maybe kwenye post ya application anaambia tunahitaji graphic designer mm-hmm. au ana uwezo wa kutumia Photoshop Illustrator design ajue kupiga picha ajue kushoot video yeah. na kuedit hadi social media ajue <laughs> <laughs> ku post exactly yes hebu yeah. uambie watu ambao pengine wanaangalia wanaamini pengine anaitakiwa na ujuzi specific mm. ni nzuri mm-hmm. lakini ajira na mfumo wa ajira ulivyo unahitaji watu wa aina gani yeah um mimi naweza ningesema kitu kimoja kwamba everything you want to do yes easy na zenyewe labda ni hints zingine Indeed. you need to reverse engineer things yani ina maana how do you reverse engineer yeah. let's say mimi leo nataka ni, nijifunze graphic design kama umesema yes mimi sitaanza kuanzia kujifunza graphic design yeah. i'll start looking hizo job post za graphic design yes. kwamba ah to graphic design kwanza each kitu ambao wanahitaji nini na nini huko yes, yes. kwa nikianza kuviona vile vile vigezo vitu ambavyo they actually au waajiri wanahitaji yes. kwa mimi nikirudi huko sasa kwenye kujifunza na mm. okay so hivi ndio vitu waajiri ambavyo wanavihitaji <laughs> kwa so cool, mimi yeah. niki, nikitoka kujifunza na maana nikiingia sokoni already niko dondo eh na maana already ninajua kuliko nao najifunza kitu kimoja then narudi kwenye kazi eh bwana kumbe wahitaji tu only mtu anataka ku retouch wanahitaji yes. even mtu anajua <laughs> kufanya photoshoot yes. and I edit sio nafanya nini hivyo na sio tu naongelea kwenye upande wa Mm. wa waajiri wa local yes. hata kwenye kwenye hii mitandao yes. ya kama mfano umetaja Fiverr yes, Upwork na kadhalika 
fanya research yani you can do actual research labda wewe unataka kuwa social media um, manager si ndio yes. ama unataka kufanya sijui social media marketing unataka kufanya email marketing nenda upwork search zile job ambazo zinakuwa posted kule angalia maana ukiangalia utaona kabisa kwamba kila kazi zilizopostiwa mm. ni vigezo gani wanavihitaji ni watu wa aina gani wanawahitaji then you already know kutokana na research yangu niliangalia kazi 100200 ndio ziona mm. wanahitaji vitu fulani kwa wewe sasa utakaporudi huko unaenda kula madini na kujifunza mm. unachimbia yale mambo ambayo already tayari unajua kabisa nikiwa na kitu hichi na hichi na hichi na hichi natoboa unarudi unakula yale madini haya tukirudi kwenye swala lako ambalo umeliongelea it is true uh, kazi nyingi especially sisi watu wa agency yes. unajua agency uh, haitajigi watu wengi and agency sisi tuko katika tunaita uh, ma, multitasking yes. yani we need people <laughs> who can multitask, multitask. Yes. hata kama tunataka mtu anafa, ana, ana kitu kimoja tu ana task moja anafanya ki, but one day i'll need you to do something nje yes. eh, eh, ya kitu ambacho wewe unachokifanya kila siku kwa hiyo Yes, it is true unatakiwa uwe una, una kitu kimoja tu lakini kuna kitu kingine ambacho uh, mimi nimejifunza kinaitwa skill stacking. Skill stacking ni, ku, ni kuwa na, na, na skills zinazoendana maana tu wengine waweza mm. na skills zizoendana. No, you need skills zinazoendana zikiwa pamoja. Example nimesema mtu mwingine labda anasema mimi bwana najua ku manage Instagram peke yake. Yes. That's it. Yaani sijui mambo mengine yoyote. Ukimleta leo nataka nifanye Google Ads sijui. Okay? Na bado ataweza atasema yeye ni digital marketer. Hapo sasa wewe unatakiwa uwe una skill zinazoendana. Ina maana ikitokea job position kama hivyo, hichi yes. unakijua? Yes, nakifahamu kwa sababu una skill zote ambazo ziko ndani ya kitu kile kile. Okay. Yeah, so we need people ambayo anakuwa na skill zaidi ya moja. That's that's na, na tunapoelekea kuna kuna artificial intelligence now sijui nao ni vita vingine kubwa kabisa ambavyo tutazungumza pia kwa kusiana na hiyo exactly kwa hiyo maana uh, inabidi uwe na kitu zaidi ya kimoja it's ili uweze ku stand out yeah okay. yeah yeah of course uh, kama mnavyosema na nilitaka nikazie hilo kwa sababu moja ya vitu vingi ambavyo unaweza ukakuta mijadala hata kwenye magrupu ya mm, WhatsApp mm. ikitumwa post yoyote inayotaka Uh, mtu akafanya kazi fulani yeah. unakuta wameorodhesha mpaka vitu vingine pengine hata vihusiana wanakuambia bwana uwe na license mm. maybe wanataka hata u drive gari mm. kwa ajili ya zile kazi za pale ofisini kwa hiyo yes. badala ya kulalamika na kuona kwamba it is not fair kutuambia mm. tunahitaji hivyo vitu kati mimi sijakisoma ndio unakosa hiyo kazi hivyo na vita badilika yes. mimi naambia yani tena vitazidi as we go <laughs> yes. vigezo vinazidi kwa zidi yes yes kwa hiyo vijana lazima tukubali kujifunza skills nyingi kadi tunavyoweza yeah. ili tuweze kuendana na na inda sina yeah, yeah, Yes, yeah. Um, najua kuna challenge nyingi hasa watu wengi kwenye matumizi ya internet, uelewa wa teknolojia kwa ujumla. Yeah. Mimi binafsi naona bado tuko nyuma. So. Unaweza ukanipa input zako wewe unavyoona mm. hasa kwa vijana ambao tunategemea ndo watu ambao watakuwa kipaumbele kwa sababu ndo taifa tunaotegemea wa utilize hizi uh, technologies yeah. zinazokuja au zilizokuepo. Mm. Challenge hiyo unaiona ni kubwa kiasi gani kwa sasa? Um Naweza nikasema sijui mm. challenge yes. ama um, vijana wengi hawana taarifa sahihi naweza nikasema hivi yani wana nguvu yes. wana muda yes. wana hela za kunoi furushi but they don't have right information na jinsi ya kutumia internet yes. naweza nikasema kujinufaisha na ile internet na sisi wachache ambao tumepata hiyo nafasi wengi wetu ni selfish yani mtu eno binafsi mtu anakumbatia yale madini yes. ana, anakaa nayo yes, yes. ama akiyatoa anayatoa nusu nusu yani hata wewe unataka kujifunza unapat connection umeelewa yes, yes. <laughs> kama unavyosema yes. though imepita muda mrefu mimi i haven't tweeted serious stuff kwa yes. miaka si miwili mitatu na napata hizo comment watu wanaambia <laughs> so, mda, 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 lakini 
nasoma yani napita nasoma naangalia lakini sasa ukisoma ukiangalia unaona mtu kakaa amekuandikia threads lakini unajua hii akiangalia kijana hawezi kujifunza chochote yani hata akiapply hichi atakwama tu yani yani sio sio complete information yani mtu kasabarize lakini wewe ambaye hujui ukiangalia eh hamadini kabisa hamadini makali haya uyachukue ende kuyafanyia kazi hawezi yani hawezi ha kupata kitu lazima tu atakwama tu mali yes, yes. kwa hiyo naweza nikasema kwamba most of the time uh, ni watu hawana hawana taarifa sahihi yes. na sisi ambao sasa tupo ambao tunatakiwa tuwape taarifa sahihi ni yes. watu wapi kwa hiyo inakuwa ni shida tupu ila ila wakipata kiongozi wakipata yes. mtu anao goza ama menta naweza nikasema mzuri yes. ambaye anaweza kamshika mkono na kuelekeza opportunities ziko nyingi especially hizo zongelea kwenye internet unajua kwenye internet watu wengi again kama unavyosema ukimwambia ah kuna hela nyingi kwenye internet mtu yes. anafikiri kwamba yes nikiamka sawa ntende ha internet ni nayo mm. ninaanzia wapi sasa mm. kupiga hela umeelewa kuna njia nyingi afu west case inakuja ukiwa uko Afrika ama ukiwa uko Tanzania ndio ndio there's a lot of vikwazo vipo yes. kwa ili wewe uweze kweli kufanikiwa especially yes, unataka kupata hizo hela mtandaoni okay unaweza kuangaika huko unapojua ukazipata na unapata challenge moja nitazitoaje la zangu labda nataka <laughs> nao <laughs> nao ni hela sasa yes, nitazitoaje yes, hizo hela yes, zangu shida nyingine yes, inakuja yes. hapo. Let's say you naongelea moja hapo ni payment gateway. Yes. It's a challenge. That is the biggest challenge iliyoko kibongo bongo ni hiyo sasa ngota payment gateway ngumu. Kuna kuna kitu kingine kidogo kabisa language. Unaona bwana, yes. unaweza ukachukulia poa lakini Kiingereza ni beli ya kubwa sana. It's the biggest skill that you need. Hata ukiachana tu kama kujua vitu vingine vya vyote. Kizungu mara nyingi uko Juma nilitweet kwamba namba moja jua kwanza kizungu yes. okay ukisema <laughs> jua kiingereza then fata hivyo vitu vingine kwa sababu nao ngikwambia anaenda Upwork ama anaenda Fiverr mm. uko ni it's a global platform yes. you know kuna watu wengine hivi na wanapata hizo opportunity kwa sababu tu ya kupiga sound yani mtu anajua kujinsigia na kumkalisha mzungu mm-hmm. kamtoa hapa yes. kamleta hapa hapa na hapa kanunua yes. mm. watu wengine mna skill wana skill hawajui kuziuza nitaiuzaje sasa hii skill yangu nitaiuzia yes. wapi you know such stuff kwa hiyo uh, nafikiri watu kama sisi ambao tuna tuna hizi ufahamu tuna njia mbalimbali ambazo zinaweza zikamsaidia mtu mmoja ambaye aidha aweze kuona umuhimu wa kupata hizo opportunities zao kwa mtandaoni yes. yani tukipata nafasi tu share yani tuelekeze tuonyeshe vijana yes, yes. kwamba like bila bila kuanyima na na, na tu, yani tu, tuwape yani vitu vyote waziwazi wazi, maana yes. sio kwa kificho ficho kwa na nyingi yani mtu haya mtu anaweza kujima vitu pale umfate DM hakujibu hakuna majibu umeelewa yes. bwana na pale ukimtweet haku reply yes. lakini pale kakuwekea madini yake yako pale yes. so we need to show them tuonyeshe njia zote vizuri kabisa tuwape malekezo foundation kabla jamani kuvamia hichi na hichi na hichi kwanza uwe na hichi na hichi na hichi pitia njia hii na hii na hii yani hivi vitu basic ambavyo unatakiwa kuwa navyo ni vipi na njia gani unatakiwa kupitia ili uweze kufikia kwenye haya malengo ambayo unataka kuyafikia wow yeah. kuna point tulizungumza kwamba of course kuna challenge ya mtu kutafuta taarifa sahihi yes. lakini lakini find a mentor yes tafuta mtu ambaye anaweza akakuongoza na kukuelekeza yeah. kwenye njia yeah. na mimi kila siku nasema kwenye content zangu ambazo natengeneza okay. maybe mimi siwezi kuwa perfect na uwezo mkubwa kuna designers kuna content creator wengine yes. out there yeah. wanafanya vizuri na wanajua vitu vingi yeah. lakini they have no time kufundisha yes. yes lakini kwa watu ambao na invest time zao tunatengeneza content kama hizi za kuelimisha ambazo litani yake ni zero yeah. definitely mimi naweza yes, nikakwambia yes, hii yes. channel ina watu 7 f- saba mm-hmm, hizi mm-hmm. lakini hakuna return ukilinganisha na investment ambayo nimefanya vifaa nilivyonavyo yeah. pamoja na muda niliyowekeza kuvitengeneza yeah, yeah, kwa hiyo yeah. we just giving back to the community mm-hmm. watu waweze kujifunza yes. na waweze kusogea na wenyewe maybe ipo siku vitatulipa lakini wao wakifanikiwa na sisi tunabarikiwa zaidi Amen. na mwisho yeah. wa siku mambo yeah. yanaenda yeah. that's for sure yes um tisina tisa mpaka leo ni zaidi ya miaka 25 Bali. Amazing. Yeah. Tambo. <laughs> Tupitishe kidogo safari yako ya kujifunza mambo ya digital ili kuaje passion ya kuanza ilikuwa ilianzaje. Oh, yes. ah, sawa. Mimi bwana. Yes. Uh, ni mtu fulani very curious. 
Yaani siwezi tu kuona kitu afu nikakiacha tu hivyo hivyo. Yaani hata kama movie yani, yani nimekaa naangalia hivi. Ah, uh, imeonfanyaje hapa? Nitaenda nita search. Hapa hapa amefanya nini hapa? Hivyo. Kwa curiosity ilinifanya nianze kuwa najifunza vitu. Yaani the moment I discover there is something called internet. Yes. Yaani I wanted to know it everything about it. Yes. You know? Asa from there sasa ndio ikanifanya nianze kugundua mambo mengine. Uh, Google information, sio nini na nini. Kwa even by the way mi computer nijifunza mwenyewe. Yaani yes. yaani sikwenda hata computer school yes, wala nini. Yes. yes, even nyumbani tulikuwa tuna computer. Yaani mimi nimejifunzia computer kupitia internet <laughs> cafe. Na <laughs> 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 through that nimearibu computer za watu wengine kwa kuchokoroa chokono. Alikuwa yeah. aibu aibu mbio na hama. Si edit tena hiyo 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 internet cafe. <laughs> Naenda yes. na, na, na nyingine na nyingine. Yes. So eventually nika master jinsi ya kutumia kutumia uh, computer, internet yes, na computer. Yes. Koyo, from there yani that curiosity inaonifanya you know, nipende ni kujifunza. Yaani watu wengine kwa naenda internet cafe kucheza kuangalia sui nini mimi kwenda kusoma. Yaani kabisa yaani naenda kujifunza kitu fulani. Naenda kufanya kitu fulani. Kwa ika ina, ina build up pole pole then mambo ya social media kawepo at that time nilikuwaepo high five sijui watu wengine even wanajui kama high five kuna kitu yes. kileto kama hicho. Sasa hizi mabadiliko kwa sui inaitwa jina gani? Mm. So ikaenda nika evolve tukaja Facebook sio tukaja Insta so, wakati tuko Facebook yes. nilikutana na marafiki wengine kule kwenye Facebook So wale marafiki ambao nilikutana nao Facebook wanje sasa no, 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 no. wa Tanzania okay. eh yani sio soma nao tulikutana tu online okay, yes. Friendship 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 one thing lead to another ndo tukafungua kampuni actually okay. watu ambao walifungua nao kampuni nilikutana nao online okay yeah yes. sikuwa na soma nao sikuwa na jua nao yes. at all yes. and since then they become even my best friend to date yani mpaka leo wow. ndio washikaji zangu lakini mpaka leo kila mtu ana kampuni yake lakini toka kwa tumeanza even hii kitu yenyewe naongelea sasa hivi digital marketing nimejifunza online mwenyewe okay. sijui nini nimejifunza mwenyewe even how we acquire our first customer mm. exactly the same yani yes. kila kitu yani kwa hakuna reference hakuna same yoyote ya kuangalia hakuna mtu kumuuliza yes. it's just you and the computer is that you and the internet that's it kwa hiyo naweza nikasema inawezekana yani unajua mtu mwingine anaweza akafikiri ah hao bwana ni motivational to speaker yes. wanaongea <laughs> kutufurahisha yes, yes. no even naweza kusema zamani ilikuwa even more difficult than, than sasa hivi maana says information ziko za kutosha yes, yes. na 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 naweza sema ni ni, ni size imekuwa rahisi lakini it's, it's a challenging pia kwa sababu ni information ni nyingi pia ambazo <laughs> you know, pia zingine sio za work yes. exactly exactly yes. hicho sasa ndo point ile tena ya nyuma pale mentor yes, so you actually ambaye, need yes. a mentor ataku a mentor will, will tell you kwamba gil nataka nisome hii course Udemy yes. okay nipe hiyo course niione Udemy yes. nitaangalia nitakwambia kwamba hai hapa mwanangu chaka yes. umu, umu, amna vitu yes. ama hichi hata ukivisoma haviko applicable bongo kabisa yani mm, vitu viko yes. applicable ulaya na watu wengi ndio wako hivyo mtu amesema ah nimesoma course ya digital marketing hata mimi hiyo alinikuta mi nisha soma sana kozi za wazungu. <laughs> unakuja unamwambia mtu sawa, kwa hiyo nikupe kazi hapa ufanye yes. trial. Mimi watu wengi, mimi mostly yani interview zangu sio yes. hata za maneno zaidi. Yes. Unajua unajua fanya yes. ku I give you task, yes, fanya hii hapa task. Sasa mtu akifanya task kuna kabisa anahangaika. Na watu wengine wakimbia kabisa arudi. Yaani yani the moment tu ukimwambia task yangu nataka ufanye hichi na hichi na hichi na hichi, alafu kimaliza nitumie. Mm. Yes mtu anaondoka moja kwa moja humoni yes ah thank god save kuna kuna ai kwa mtu atakudanganya ataingia kwenye ai mm, atauliza yeah, atakutubia <laughs> ukimpiga maswali mawili matatu jasho anakukimbia kwa hiyo ah uh, yes you need a mentor anaweza kukuongoza kwa ina maana kwenye my journey hiyo ambayo umeniuliza ya ya from where i started mimi i'm self made kabisa digital marketer wow. so everything i learned from the internet until now na maybe hapo nyuma siku mention si kipindi chao kinaruhusu ku mention you just mention it <laughs> yeah uh, now we are working with big brands okay. let's say i'm working with tigo i'm working with uh, banks like nbc nimeshafanya yes. kazi na kcb you know na a lot yani wakubwa kubwa ukisoma kweli wow. na 
zamani kwa tu just a dream na muhimu unafanya nao kabisa ongera sana Thank na you. mafanikio makubwa asante sana um, wakati tunazungumza jani yako ilivyokuwa hapa mm-hmm. by the way nina swali moja lakini kuna kitu ambacho nimejifunza pengine yeah. naweza nikakazia na watu wengine wa Okay. Unasema wakati unatumia internet ukakutana na marafiki Facebook ambao yes. mlianzisha kampuni. Yes. That is the best way ambayo pengine hata mtu yote anayetutazama mm-hmm. kweli hatuna mtaji. Mm-hmm. Lakini unaweza kupata laki mbili na mwingine laki mbili. Sasa hiyo ni ukutane na watu ambao mna passion inaofanana, mna malengo yanayofanana. Mnaweza kuanzisha kitu. Nilisha tweet. Yaani mtu akienda ka search tweet zangu, yes, yes. I said about the exactly the same. Na yes. sisi sio kwamba tulianza na hela. Yes. Wala yani mkisikia ni kutema yes. rafiki zangu tukaanzisha kampuni na fikia yes. that we were rich people. No, yes. tulikuwa chuo. <laughs> yaani we were young. Yes. Yaani at that time yaani tulikuwa hatuna chochote. History ni ndefu kwa yes, sababu yes. hii maybe next time nikialika kwa hiyo podcast I'll yes. tell this story. It's yes. wrong. Yaani <laughs> cause those people tulianzisha yani nyumbani yani sio kwamba eti maana mkesia kampuni na nafikiri yes. like immediately tunapiti maybe tuna you story ni interesting unaweza ka brief kidogo yes okay. tupate kitu sawa so, yeah. haikuwa kwamba eti tuna brela sweet yes, nothing yes. yani ni marafiki marafiki hivi jamani hii internet kila siku tunaitumia kila siku tunatumia izela hivi hatuwezi kupata chochote huko ndani yes. exactly same question uliza la monetization yes. kwa hii inawezekana that time kulikuwa hamna hata makampuni I, actually our agency was like a first agency kabisa okay, bongo yeah yes. at that time kwa wow, sababu kwa yes, hakuna yes. agency zingine yes. ina mna mtu ambaye an, an, anafanya kazi za ku manage social media za makampuni at 2011 2012 yes, yes. hakuna so the moment tumeanza hichi kitu hasa hamna reference yes. kwa sasa kumbuka hizo ni idea tumeona tu sehemu nyingine yes, nzi yes. as i told you toka mwanzo was curious kwa ina maana i saw it other countries yes. they're doing it lakini yes. mbona sisi hatufanyi kuna lakini hichi kitu tunaweza tukakifanya tunaweza kufanya hii basi sawa basi tuko nyumbani kwa marafiki yes. tumekaa mezani kama hivi ndio ofisi yetu ikao so tunafanyaje 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 while yani Mungu mwenyewe huwa na mipango yake yes. while tukiwa tuko tunajiunga tunajitafuta yes then pale science science hapo uh, there is some kuna kuna sema ito costec yes, science Kostek, yes pale Costec juu kukawa kuna um, kama um, tunaita hub flani yes, yes. ambayo ina support uh, startups zozote ambazo zinafanya vitu vya kidigitali okay. then that was even a new concept at that time up okay. kama 2012 hivi yes. sasa kasema kama una idea yoyote ambayo inahusisha na haya mambo ya, ya technology mm. you can come and pitch to us kama mkiona uh, inaenda we can host you here ina maana unapata ofisi mm. computer boardroom everything like full office kabisa yeah. free internet everything was there Ah sisi tukaenda tukapitcha idea yetu. Sisi bwana tunataka tuanzishe agency ni hawatuelewe wale wazee. Ah jamaa na ongekitukea. <laughs> Lakini kwa sababu akaona watu wanajua anachokifanya fresh. Mwapi nafasi? Joni mm. tukapewa nafasi bwana Coste. Kwa Coste ndio ikawa first office from home. Yaani okay. home ticket. Hapo yeah. atujasajili. Yaani kampuni yajasajiliwa aenda yes. chochote. Just walituamini kwamba jamaa seems wanajua wanachokifanya. Yes. Then we got that space pal sapali bana ndio mambo mengi yakaanzia sasa pale ina yeah. maana tumekaa sasa tufanyaje haya sisi tuna, tumesema tunataka tuanzishe kampuni ya mambo haya yeah. anze kujichanga tafuta hela huyu ameukabetokea huko 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 mimi nikamaliza shule nikawa yeah. sasa nafanya kazi at Airtel. Okay. Nichanga changa changa vila huko na huko na huko. Tukajichangisha changisha huyu kwa mzazi huyu sikamomba mjio yes, mpaka yes. mumba nani na 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 na. Tukafungua kampuni ya ukweli. Okay. Sisi yani tukuanzia freelance. Yani okay. we, we started straight from the company. company yes, yeah, okay. yani naweza nikasema maybe that was also a uh, advantage sio kidogo mm, kwetu kwa sababu mimi sababu imewapa unajua unapofanya kama freelancer mm-hmm. unapofungua kampuni experience inayoanza kuhesabiwa ni ya kampuni you know? hata kama binafsi ulishafanya miaka saba. exactly yes. kwa mimi naweza sema that was advantage yes. kwetu kwa sababu tulianza straight na kampuni okay. kwa ina maana haswa ilikuwa kubwa even our first client alikuwa yes. ni precision okay na wow. siwezi kusema kwamba tulifungua tu kampuni yakatokea yes. yes. that was Brand another struggle, struggle. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long struggle yani yes. tulipita kama mwaka mzima hatuna mteja wowote hatuna kitu chochote na tunaenda kazini na nyumbani na familia unaambia kwamba unaenda kazini sasa tunasema huyu jamaa anaenda kazini mbona hujawahi kumuona yes. <laughs> kila siku anaomba hela yes. nyumbani hana hela kila siku analalamika sasa 
even at that time when we to we were digital marketer they they were thinking that's not a real job and they think you ni when you start the case ukajiriwa yes i am a digital marketer i'm talking about digital marketing sio kazi then one thing lead to another tukapata huyo mteja wetu wa kwanza then huyo mteja ndo akatufungulia milango ndo tukapata watu wengine na wengine na wengine na vitu vingine ndo vikaanza kwenda kuanzia hapo wow. yeah so that hustle was there na sio kwamba tu ilikuwa tu mtelezo mpaka mwisho ilikuwa ni safari no, ndefu yes ilikuwa ni safari <laughs> but yes. ilikuwa ina mafanikio na mafunzo hongera na ongeleni sana kwa sababu mlikutana watu sahihi exactly. mkatengeneza mlichofanya na leo mko hapa Um, umesema hapa kwamba ulisoma online haya yote ambayo unayafahamu. Yeah, yes. How do you get certified kwa kusoma online pekee? Aha. Yes. Um, let's say everything unachotaka kujifunza kina certification zake. Yes. Uh, meta wana certification zake na sema tu maybe baadaye wewe unaweza kuweka link yes. whatever kwenye kwenye sub, uh, kwenye nini description description yes. Yes, ambapo watu wanaweza wakaenda nitakutumia yes. yes kuna 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 certification za kila kitu unachotaka kufanya meta nazo zao uh, udemy nazo zao all the biggest google wanayo kwao okay. Kwa kila platform ina certification zake lakini okay. kiusema kweli mimi nimekuwa satisfied sijui miaka mitatu iliyopita because okay. why should i do certification wakati tayari nilikuwa nishajikusanyia yes. knowledge na experience, experience i practice yes. a lot kwa nilikuwa even nilitafuta certification kwa sababu kuna kazi moja nilikuwa na apply mm-hmm. they needed that okay. kwamba like actually i was doing training kwa okay. nikamwambia ili uweze kuwa trainer na responsible hizo trainer alikuwa meta wenyewe ah, unasema okay. lazima wewe una certified na, na e, ili uweze ku train yes. basi i did the exam kwa okay. i did the exam then I got certified lakini kuna a lot of certification na as i said earlier pale kuna watu na certification lakini kabisa ukimweka kwenye field ah shida tu performance is zero kwa hiyo ina maana You can have certification and still ukadunda kwenye real life. That was the next question kwamba yeah. mindset ya watu wengi mtu akikwambia leo nataka kujifunza atakwambia nataka chuo mm-hmm. au nataka anauliza je unatoa cheti baada ya kunifundisha? Yeah. Yes. Hiyo mindset wewe unaichukuliaje na even though ushajibu kwa kiasi kikubwa unaweza kuweka input. Actually no? hata mimi uh, cause zangu ninazozitoa huwa yes. na hapa vieti tu. Yes. 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 For massaging your ego, mm. fine. You can have that certificate. Yes, yes. You can have even 100 certificate like in for real. Uh tunapoelekea kwa mtaani people hawezi kujali tena kusiana na cheti. Even tunapoelekea mbele zaidi no one will ask you about cheti zako cha chuo, cheti zako cha primary, cheti yes. zako even though waelekea na few cheti za primary amna mtu anakuuliza la secondary amna mtu anakuuliza you know. Yes, yes. So eventually vivyote vyote vitaondoka now itakuwa ni professional yani una yes. uwezo yes. hicho kitu kufanya hem fanya hapo tuone okay umekwama basi bye bye hamna mtu atakuwa na ana kazi ya kuuliza tena eti kwamba alete cheti yes. you know so chat is one thing lakini hivi vitu ambavyo tulivonavyo especially easy skill tukirudi kwenye kwenye hiyo pata ambayo huo uliyoongelea mara nyingi kwamba watu wanasoma anataka mm-hmm. cheti yes, yes. ametulia au ana, ana skill ajui cha kufanya yes. practice yani hamna kitu kitakachokubeba au kitakusaidia kama uzoefu yani yes, uzoefu yes. na watu wengine kiambia uzoefu anasubiria paka ajiliwe ajiliwe ndio upate hello hiyo <laughs> hizo ni ngumu bala mm-hmm. Practice that on yourself. Yani you don't have to practice even kwa mtu mwingine. Wewe mwenyewe mm-hmm. wewe fanyia kwa hicho tujifunza. What, there's a lot of things you can do yes. with with it sindi yes. usisubiri paka eti niajiliwe no we, fa, apply kwenye kwa kwako mwenyewe yes. nimeongelea swala la kujibrand hai wale unajibrand apply hicho tujifunza yes. you learn a lot yani utajifunza hivi vitu vya kidigitali naweza nikakwambia mimi naweza ningakufundisha kila kitu and that is only 10% ya everything yani na maana ukianza ku apply yes kuna matatizo mengine uoga na letewa. Mimi tunajifunzia hapo hapo. Yes, eh, mimi niko home. Oh, okay, eh. kumbe kuna hichi kitu. Then while ninaisolve hiyo issue, najifunza kitu kingine pale pale. Yes. 
Kwa vitu vingi ambavyo vinatokea, vitu vingi na vijifunza, vitu vingi ambavyo hata wewe utajifunza yes. ni through doing. Yaani sio kabisa ufikiri kwamba eti nikishasoma, nikitulia, nisubirie kazi, no. Just mm. try different stuff, apply, volunteer, nini utaona tu. Yaani a lot of things utaweza kujifunza huko ndani. Kabisa. Na ulipozungumzia kujifunza hapo ni kwamba hivi vitu vya teknolojia ni kwamba vinabadilika kila yes, kukicha. Exactly. Yes. Uh, ile interface ya ads manager ya Facebook ya miezi tu miwili iliyopita is totally different na leo. Yes. Yaani ukiingia leo utakuta kuna feature nyingine mara tailoring mara nini. Bala. Mbona hii sijawahi kuiona? Bala. Na mtu yeah. amejifunza ikuepo. Yes. Kwa hiyo lazima uupdate ujuzi yes. kila siku. Yes. Yes, uh, kitu kingine ambacho ni interesting na ni vizuri tuzungumze ni artificial intelligence. Yeah. Yes, uh, unazungumziaje ujio wake na je ni threat kiasi gani kwa watu walio kwenye technology? Well, yes. um, mimi bwana yes. uh, I always say this kwamba artificial intelligence watu wengine wanaitumia kama ku replace kitu kingine. Yes. Lakini you don't have to replace anything from artificial intelligence. Yes. You need to enhance something, you sure. know. Sure. Let's say wewe mimi kama digital marketer before nilikuwa uh, nikitaka kuja na strategy naumiza kichwa na Google nafanya hivi na andika pale na pale. Lakini sasa hizi I can create a strategy andika vizuri hapa nafanya hivi hivi. Mm-hmm. Lakini I can use uh, platforms za AI kuweza ku enhance ile strategy ambayo already ninayo. Yes. Okay? Ama nina wazo limestack kichwani. I can use it to brainstorm it then mimi nika develop kivingine kikubwa zaidi kuliko vile ambavyo hizi tool ambazo zimekuja. Kwa hiyo one if you use it that way na kiusema kweli um now easy especially easy generative ai ambayo you can use it to write text create images we nina nina nini watu wengi sasa hizi haumizi kichwa anataka siwe nini anaweka pale inampa jibu sasa huo huna hiyo skill huna hiyo knowledge inaweza hata kukupa jibu la uongo ama jibu fulani very shallow yes. lakini wewe kaona ah ili mwanangu kali kinoma bonge la idea mimi nikija mbe najua nikiangalia is just yani very generic answer mm, yes. ambao even sio kitu ambacho kinaweza ika solve any problem mm. ama anywhere kwa hiyo uh, easy skills zingine zozote hazipukiki yani we should kabisa once again mentor awe <laughs> na mtu yes, yes, anakuongoza yes, anakuelekeza fanya hivi na hivi na hivi tools zitumie lakini zitumie kuweza kukusaidia kuweza kuku kuwezesha hiyo idea ambayo uliokuwa nayo ama skill uliokuwa nayo. Kushana na threat it is true is a threat especially yes. kwa watu ambao kabisa wako weak kwenye eneo yao mbalimbali. Let's say mtu ambaye labda sio mzuri kwenye digital marketing. Yes, yes kabisa AI inaweza kakutoa kakutupa mbali kabisa. Yaani ukiwa like uko shallow mm. kwenye yes, eneo hilo. Yes. Uko shallow kwenye graphic design. Uko shallow sio kwenye photography. Yes. Yes. AI kabisa ina ku replace completely inakutoa lakini kama tayari wewe uko vizuri uh, nimeongelea pale una skills zako zaidi ya tisa. Yes, sijui yes. una vitu vingine extra you can think you can think outside the box you can come up with crazy ideas yes. still any wewe utabakia tu value yako itakuepo iko pale pale yes. lakini now ina maana kwa wale ambao walikuwa wanalegelegea nyuma yes. naweza nikashowe endelee kukaza buti lakini kwa watu ambao tayari wako mbele na nyoa si relax yes. ina maana tuendelee ni kuongeza skills tuendelee kujinoa tuendelee kuona jinsi gani tunaweza tukatumia hizi hizi tool ziweze kutusaidia kazi zetu ziweze kuwa eh, ziweze kuwa nzuri zaidi lakini kusema kweli it's a big threat especially kwa watu wanaoanza na na watu ambao ni wavivu okay. kama ni mvivu kweli itakutoa <laughs> kabisa yani mm. yani kabisa and now there is ai for everything even kama juzi niliona even moja ina ina attack industry yenu ya video and uh, photo yes like, yeah. hey, open ai ai ya ya video of course imeiona it is crazy <laughs> so <laughs> so yes. imagine that mm. yani na maana now itakuwa ata client ata nani ana haja kuita yeye ataingia ata chat atabonyeza pale zigo limesha toka pale kama lisa yes. you know wow. so it is crazy and um, i'm still advising tuendelee kupambana tuendelee kujifunza tuendelee kujinoa tuendelee kuangalia yani ata, ata kazi zipo sasa hivi watu wanatafuta watu ambao wanajua uh, jinsi ya kutumia hizi tu kwa sababu mm. tools zipo even watu wanatumia randomly 
even jinsi ya kuitumia ile tool yenyewe pia na yenyewe ni skill. Yes, kwa hiyo yes. ina maana you can even learn how to use this skill and yes. still look valuable kwenye baadhi ya maeneo. Wow. Yeah. Na of course naona ba- kuna baadhi ya content creator mm-hmm. wengi wa ndani nimeona baadhi lakini wapo wa nje pia ambao yeah. specifically wamejikita kufundisha matumizi ya hizo AI. Exactly. Hiyo na opportunity. Yes. <laughs> kwa hiyo <laughs> unayotazama hiyo ni fursa yeah. pia kuweza kuichukulia. Sure, for sure, for sure. Yes. Yaani unaweza ukawa unajua kitu na ukakifundisha na, na ukapata ile kwenye kukifundisha. Kama jana kuna mtu alikuwa ananipa mfano like kuna these other guys of Pakistan wako hapa yeah. Tanzania yes. wamenua plots acres and acres and acres za land wamezitengeneza vizuri wameziwekea irrigation system kila kitu yani fresh hawalimi wao mm. nazi rent too yani okay. baada wao ukitaka kulima you, you go to them you rent yani kwa haraka haraka tulikuwa tunapiga mahesabu wanaingiza shilingi ngapi kwa zile almost billion kwa ku rent hawalimi kumbuka okay. yani wao wa, wa, hawalimi <laughs> chochote yes, eh, ila tu alichokifanya they know to okay kuna hizo so exactly let's say hata kwenye upande unawezekana skill lo nayo usi yeah. apply popote ukafundisha watu wengine kuitumia bado ukapata yeah. zako maokoto kama kawaida kabisa yeah ah amazing yeah. um familia yako yes ina nafasi na mchango gani kwenye kile unachokifanya pamoja na maisha yako kwa ujumla yeah um that's a good question kisema kweli yes. especially kwa baadhi ya vijana uh, ukiwaambia kwamba mzazi mimi nataka kuwa content creator akuelewi yes. mimi nataka kuwa content creator wewe wewe nataka kuwa content creator ah, kwa nini usi accountant kwa nini usi we, you know usi we, pilot kwa nini usi... yes so yes. mimi naweza kusema kwamba kwa ujumla familia as in toka nimeanza yani siongelee tu sasa hivi yes. in the past um mtu na kusupport like okay ndio hicho nilitaka kufanya fine yes. kama hicho ndio umetaka kuwa digital marketer just do you as long as ni kitu ambacho unaweza kufanya na kikuletea matokeo positive yes. thing fresh unahitaji nini unahitaji internet unahitaji nini unahitaji laptop hata uko nyuma ni chukua na kuambia kwamba mimi nilikuwa naenda internet cafe yes. nilikuwa natoa wapi ila wakati nilikuwa nasoma yes, kwa unapewa una yeah. okay, internet cafe ndio faili kujifunza unapata support yes nenda kwa since there yani nilikuwa napata support sikupata challenge zozote currently let's say work life balance yes uko nyumbani na mke na nani na toto na familia the supporting kwa sababu okay, Gilson sasa hivi ana ana, ana program yake Gilson anaenda kwenye podcast twende <laughs> kubeba tutaenda kwenye podcast skills twende kuna kitu gani kuna workshop kuna sijui kitu gani support ipo na hiyo kusema kweli it helps a lot especially sisi ambao bado tunajitafuta sure. uh, it motivates you to do more kuliko kuwa na mtu ambaye even haamini ndoto yako kama unakuta una, unataka una kitu fulani unakiamini yes. i know for sure now now sina hela yes. na hichi kitu lakini mbele najua Kitaleta, yeah. yes. you know that's how i was thinking while ninatumia internet back then okay. i knew for sure hii okay. internet itakujaga tu kunilipa sijui itanilipaje lakini i know for sure itakuja kunilipa eventually so kama wakachule ni naanza kikupo mtu wa kunikatisha tamaa possibly now ningekuwa labda nimekuwa accountant ama nimekuwa whatever uh, task tofauti kabisa na kwa na hicho ambacho nafanya yeah wow yeah shout out sana kwa sababu kwenye instagram yako umepost picha mbili tu <laughs> moja ikiwepo wife <laughs> leo pia uko naye hapa ni mtu ambaye anaonekana ni very supportive yeah. na ongera sana kwake apokee so maua yake kwa kile ambacho ana contribute yes yeah, point. Yeah. so uh, kitu kingine ambacho kikubwa ambacho pia nimeki observe ni mindset Uh, watu wengi ambao ninakutana nao especially mtandaoni uh, kule ex ambapo tulikuwa kila siku tunapigishana nao kelele ni ni mindset na hiyo si walaumu pia ni kutokana even na elimu tulofundishwa marafiki utakakutana nao yes. vitu vinavyokuzunguka ni vitu vinavyokuinfluence vinakusababisha uwe una una closed mindset kwamba unaamini uh, ili niweze kupata ile kama nikifungua biashara niwe na goli 
Kaya ko yes. niwe sui na na niwe na duka sinza au mtani kwangu ninue kitu kwa bei ya jumla sem flani niuze reja reja mtani ninahitaji uh, kazi nitoke nivae uh, go yango ofisini nipande la lalala la, la, niende ofisini yes. that's it au nitume CV huko nipeleke ku... bas yani na maana mtu kimwambia uh, sio hivyo tu yani kuna other opportunity ambazo unaweza kuzipata tofauti na hivyo kuna vitu hivi na mtu unaweza kabisa na naye ah we muongo tu westwind <laughs> magia mimi ndo nachofanya kila siku na research umeelewa bwana mm, mtu mm. anakubishia wewe ambaye ndo kila siku ndo kazi yako yes. na ndio hivyo unavyofanya mtu anaanza kukuambia wewe ni muongo ah uh, wewe bwana ah, motivational speaker nyie kila siku mnatupigia hizi kelele jamani mimi ndo nachokifanya hichi kitu kila siku yes. huyu mwingine anafanya huyu mwingine anafanya so um, mindset uh, ni kitu muhimu especially huwa nasema ukitaka kufanikiwa especially kwenye ile eneo letu la, la, la mtandaoni yes kwanza inabidi udelete kila kitu unachokijua delete delete everything that you know kichwani alafu fungua kichwa chako ujifunze upya yani na maana kila kitu ambacho utaanza kujifunza yani fanya kabisa yani hujawahi kujifunza kitu kingine huko nyuma hapo utakuwa rais hata wewe kuweza kuadapt lakini kitu chako kikiwa kiko ah ukasema unafanyaje ah yewezekane yewezekane kitu chako na, uz, na ubongo bwana binadamu huko hivi <laughs> <laughs> yani binadamu ile yetu mm-hmm. in, 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 ni self sabotage yani kwamba ubongo wako hautaki kuchoshwa yes, kwa uko yes. unakuna kaja utakwambia kwamba hicho kiwezekani umeelewa sasa the more kobecho kiwezekani unao unaona kweli hichi kitu kiwezekani kwa i tweet a lot now nashangaa hadi sije tweet like three years lakini mm. until paka leo watu ambao wengine wame discover kuhusu ile hizo tweet yes. nashangaza like ah Yaani bwana kuna hizi tweets mwanangu nimezi. Sasa ndojiuliza hivi hizi mm. siri kwanga nazoongea kila siku. Ina maana hamna mtu alikuwa anazifuatilia hizi kitu. Yaani ni kama now they have discovered new thing ambacho nilikuwa sijawahi kukiongea kabisa. You know? So it's good thing at least now wameanza kufunguka na kuona kwamba kumbe vitu ambavyo nilikuwa na viongelea in the past yeah. vilikuwa vina make sense yeah. even now. Yeah. So again the same kwamba mtu anatakiwa tu awe na mindset ambayo imefunguka dunia sasa hizi zimebadilika vitu vingi vimebadilika aina tunavyopata hela tumebadilika kutafuta kazi kufanya kazi uh, kufanya biashara biashara yenyewe tukiongelea tu business ina aina sio hata mia different business models mm, yes. ziko kwenye upande yeah. wa biashara kama ulisikiliza mwanzoni pale na fikimsi kizazi wetu aliona nilielezea hii tu elimu na ongelea mimi ya digital marketing, yes, yeah, digital marketing. how many ways unaweza kazitumia kupata hela yes. kwa vinginevyo mtu angejua tu ah kwa Gilson ameniambia nikijifunza uh, digital marketing nikijifunza social media marketing niende nika manage page za za mtu mwingine yes. okay that's it wakati humo ndani sijaelezea vitu vingine vingi we can yes. do yani ndani yake mule mule uh, kwenye kwenye hiyo hiyo skill moja kwa jifunze kwanza uwe na hiyo skill alafu kuna njia nyingi sana 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 jinsi ya kuweza kupiga hela na hiyo skill ambayo uko nayo kwa skill ni kitu kwanza muhimu kabisa kuliko vyote yes. you need to have a skill na skill ambazo ninazoziongelea mtu mwingine na again anaweza akaa nafikiri kwamba ni zizi ambazo mtu amezisoma chuo ama amezisoma darasani yes, no yes. sasa hizi kuna vitu vingine hata una haja ya kusoma chuo au darasani example point am all ulizia content creation okay content creators yes. sasa content creators is sio like uh, physics mm. <laughs> au biology ama yes. political science you yes. know yes. yani ni kwamba you know ni ni nish gani ninataka nichukue yeah. hii ndo nishi ambayo niko nayo hii nishi nalipa kuna kuna opportunity zipo natengeneza content around that niche that's it ina maana watu wameniona i can either become influencer around that area yes. or i can sell products around that area there is a lot of things you can do around that area kwa hiyo watu tufungue akili zetu vitu tunavyoambiwa na watu ambao wametutangulia ambao wanajua tuweze usibishe kichukue kiapply yes. alafu kikishindwa ndo useme kwamba like ah huyu jamaa anazingua tu huyu bwana Joel kila siku anambia mm, mambo yake yes. ya, ya graphic design yes. sijui nini sijui content kitu gani muongo tu yes. kabla hujabisha apply yani kwanza kubali kufungua akili yako yes meza hiyo knowledge i apply. apply yes you know practice hivi vitu yani kuna vitu vingine yani unaviangalia mtu amekuelezea vitu vi... 
Asa mtu anakuuliza asa sasa hiyo Skype <laughs> Skype. Mtu anauliza hiyo Skype ID itapataje? Ama hiyo <laughs> ama mtu anauliza swali ukiliangalia <laughs> heri kama huyu mtu hajui even yes, kitu kidogo yes, kama yes, hichi. Skype yes. Kweli huyu mtu nikiweza kumuelezea jinsi gani affiliate marketing inavyofanya kazi, kazi yes. itakuwaje. Kwa hiyo let us start learning few things small thing basic stuff vitu hivi. Yaani kuna vitu vingine vidogo vidogo ukiviunganisha something big inatokea inakupa uwanja mpana kabisa kabisa yes. kabisa uh, labda kwa kumeshe ni wachache najua kwa huo muda wote ambao umekuepo kwenye industry kuna watu yeah. wengi sana ambao wamepita kwenye mikono yako pengine umewa train mm. personal wengine kwenye corporate na maeneo mengine ni watu gani ambao unaweza kwa mention maybe pengine nitaasisi kama mtakuwa comfortable au watu binafsi ambao unaona wamekuwa successful wanafanya vizuri kwenye industry Ah hapa na business metu ni wengi kwa sababu yes. <laughs> actually ni wengi yani nikitaja mmoja mmoja wengine yes. wanasema ah ni Gilson wewe hapa ni bidii tumie siasa there is yes. a lot wengi yani directly na indirectly yes. wapo okay. yani ni wengi paka sasa hivi as we yes. speak na wengine naona kwenye social media wengine wana kazi wengine wamejiliwa wengine wamejijili wow. wengine mm. biashara yani wengine tuko nao wengine ni partner wangu as we speak okay. a lot yani ni wengi sana 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 indirectly and directly yes. yani nikijumlisha naweza sema hata 5000 wanafika yeah. okay. yes 5000 <laughs> kuna wengine even paka kukutana naye kwa Gilson Bwana say yani eh bwana kumbe ndio kusaidia kuna mtu nilikutana naye anambia ni unakumbuka zile tweets zako sio nani nani nini ananyonyesha kitu alichokifanya amazing yes. thing unaweza huyu mtu alisoma tu tweets tweet, tweet, yes. na wale anafanya vitu vyote hivi vikubwa yes. kuna watu ambao wengine even ni wa train sisemi kwamba tu wote ni wa train na kwa yes. mentor yes. naweza kasema kuna kuna ile theory inaitwa 1% it is yes. true yes. sio kwamba eti ya watu wote nausema ni watu mm. no yani wafundisha ni wengi sana watu wengi wameona tweets zangu watu wangapi wameweza kwa apply just 1% yes. i can say every pe- people or person i mentioned now yes. asli mia moja kwa hiyo ina maana you ambaye unasikiliza sasa hivi unaangalia make sure kwamba nawe uwepo kwenye 1% kwenye list eh, eh, yani 1% yani hivi vitu ambavyo tumeviongelea hapa ni muda mchache. Kwa hiyo this is, was not even a training. Yaani ilikuwa tu ni mazungumzo. Mazungumzo. Yes. Kwa hiyo haya mazungumzo mtu anatakiwa not a not kitu. Yes. Alafu akifanye kazi. Maana more the time unakuta yes. mtu anasikiliza alafu okay okay ah, bas fresh. Mtu anaishia za kitu. Umeelewa <laughs> yes. and taking massive action ni number one way ya kuweza kuwa successful. Yaani ile kwanza hata we mwenye tu uliamua kusikiliza maybe yeah. kufikia hapa edi inaonekana kabisa tayari unaelekea kuweza kufanikiwa yes. maana i know for sure kuna watu wamesikiliza fika katikati ah hii ni same same Akakuit, motivational yes, speaker yes. <laughs> this motivational speaker yes. wanaondoka yes. kuna mtu anasikiliza yote anamaliza pale anasema nitafanya kesho ndio mm. imetoka hiyo yes. no ili uweze kuona mabadiliko yani usifikirie kesho start now yani immediately yani take notes rewind listen carefully pole pole even kama unajua wakati mwingine wakati unazungumza yes. kuna majina hata unakuja ah Gilson nikasema inabidi nitafute mentor mimi nafanya yeah. kitu gani yeah. ah, mtu fulani anaweza kafaa kabisa kwa mentor for sure for sure look for him or for her right now mpigie mtumie message mcheki kuna watu wengine waga tu wanaogopa tu hata kuacheki watu ah yule anaweza sinijibu umemcheki umeelewa bwana kuna kitu gani utapoteza kimcheki and there is nothing we will lose kwa kumcheki mcheki si ndio yes. haya maybe kuna mtu umeona amemcheki aje kujibu unajua maybe mimi ni na connection naye nitafute yes, bibi yes. i will actually link with you directly na huyo mtu ambaye unataka kuwasiliana naye wow. and even me press as always <laughs> so <laughs> yes. uh, people are not taking action hiyo na yenyewe ni kitu kingine na hata wao wengine wana take action maybe labda hawajui wapi pa kuanzia Dina. kama hujui pa kuanzia tafuta mtu ambaye unajua anafanya kitu anafanya sana kitu wewe yes. ama kitu fulani unajua anakifahamu ana mtafute zungumza naye akuelekeze inawezekana directly asikusaidia lakini maybe atakuweza kuunganisha yes, na mtu ambaye huyu hapa ndio mtu sahihi mimi kuna watu wengi anakuja aniuliza labda leo mtu alikuja gil nataka nijifunze kusiana mambo ya ya hisa si mambo ya ya UTT mimi yes. i don't know about UTT lakini i know yes. a lot of people who do UTT Wanafana okay nikampa connection chukua ongea na huyu hapa atakusaidia gil sana kujua affiliate marketing 
I know affiliate marketing lakini like, you know kuna to specifically that's their yeah, job yeah. huyu hapa ndio mtu nguli atakusaidia kuhusiana na mambo ya affiliate marketing yes. you know so anyway is either huyu mtu anaweza kusaidia au huyu mtu atakulink na mtu ambaye anakusaidia that's another thing yeah. last thing ambao naweza nikaongelea pia ni network okay mara nyingi huwa tunaongea kuhusiana na network network sio juana na watu network yeah. Kuna watu wengi wanachukulia tu ni kitu poa tu. Wanachukulia oh, poa is. But network is uh, another biggest thing uko especially uh, kwenye point ambayo ulianza nayo ukanambia uh, watu wana struggle they are not getting money yes, na nini. Yes. Yeah, yani people you know hiyo uh, bana yepukiki. Yaani watu unaojua na nao wewe <laughs> oh, unaojua wanaweza yes. kabisa kukusaidia. You, mafani- you know mafanikio mm. yako sio yes. tani. Mm. Let's say uh, currently watu ambao either nimesoma nao ni marafiki zangu ama tumekuwa nao tunamkuta labda yuko si benki gani MD si ni head of yes. marketing si yes. wapi. Kwa yes kwanza kumbuka i have skills ni nazo ni na ujuzi na kila kitu na pia ninamjua mtu fulani anafanya uoni kama si kama atakuwa amenibeba lakini at least anaweza kunisaidia kupush jambo langu kuliko kwamba ningekuwa si juani na mtu kabisa you know so network a lot wewe we ni graphic designer, wewe ni photographer, videographer, unatafuta kazi, usijifungie tu mageto. Ule mwana sema toka magetoni. Mm. Maybe <laughs> yes. ha- haeleze yake vizuri kwa nini anasema toka magetoni. Toka magetoni yes, yes. Lakini there is a lot of way kutoka magetoni. One way ni ile nyuma iliyoongelea kujibrand. Mm. Unajua kujibrand sasa una umetoka ume huko ulipo chimbo yes. na umejiexpose ume, na watu wamekuona. Yes. Eh kwa huko ni kutoka kwenye magetoni. Show up, show up every day. Every day show up. Yaani make sure someone somewhere sees whatever unachokifanya. Yes. Pole pole, unaweza kuona ni mtu mmoja tu au mimi na wanajiongeza wale mtu mmoja wa pili wa tatu na internet size bwana kuweza kuwa viral ni just one content away yes. yeah, yeah, man unaweza leo nina, nina watu mia wana view channel yangu yeah. kesho laki tano kesho kutwa hivyo kwa ina maana the more you show up the more people wanakuona una get notes umeelewa bwana kwa ina maana show up uh, network kuna events bwana Joel hapa alianda events zake za creators yes. out okay tutajuaje sasa unafanya nini wao utalink up wapi na watu yes. wengine ambao maybe wanaweza kusaidia jambo lako jichanganye jichanganye na watu uh, jiintroduce sema unafanya nini people opportunities zipo yeah. yes, yeah, ya usijificha sana yani usikae huko umejificha afu sema it opportunity am not opportunity itakuja itakufuata bila wewe mwenyewe kutokeza na kujionyesha kwa itafuta ndio yeah. Okay, swali la mwisho ambalo pengine nataka nifahamu ni kuhusiana na kwamba nakutana na watu baadhi hata mimi pia naona. Wewe unafanya digital marketing. Yeah. Lakini kama ulivyosema wewe pia kwamba kwenye Twitter ambao sasa ni X kuna muda mrefu uja tweet. Yeah. Yeah, so how do you work kama mitandao kama hiyo how tweet tena na pia siku ni Instagram. Okay. Kitu um swali zuri. Yes. Again, business model. Yes. My business model is kind of different business model. Na naweza nikasema maybe niliponzwa na toka tulipoanzia. Mimi uh, na deal zaidi na corporates, okay? okay? Yes. Corporate even they have their own way ya kutafuta uh, watu wa kufanya na kazi. Yeah, yani ni tofauti na na watu wengine labda biashara ya kawaida, biashara mm. ndogo ndogo, watu binafsi na kadhalika. Mimi nikitaka tafute kazi na apply tender or oh, in a pitch I'm gonna present you know i can say maybe um, almost they never ever even try kuangalia ti gil santa me tweet nini no yeah. they want to see kwenye hiyo oh, yeah. proposal si ni proposal ya eh, nimeelezea kitu unachokifanya kitafanyika vizuri that's it kwa naweza nikasema pia even by me tweeting is just me again mwanzo ni giving back to the society kwa mba, like, yeah. this is something that i know and i think a lot of people they don't know so i need to show them and there is a moment nafikiri nilikaa nilikashoto tamani kwa nini even hawa tunaona hawanielewi and then even mimi sio kwamba kuna kitu chochote kitafungua nikiacha mimi ku tweet mimi kazi zangu has just stop kazi zangu zinaendelea kama kawaida and i'm still closing clients i'm still pitching kama kawaida 
kabisa yani sio kwamba by me stopping tweeting then ndo kwamba uh, wateja wangu na wenyewe wapungua yes, au mimi nimeacha kufanya digital yes, marketing yes. you know i still do digital marketing i've been doing digital marketing ever since na um, okay probably naweza nikasema sasa ni, ni pia nikawa very occupied hapa katikati sure, yani nikana sure. mambo mengi 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 kwa sometimes people they really need to know easy content tunazoandalia easy post sio kwamba tu unaamka afu unakurupuka unaandika yes. no they take time yani kabisa mm. unakaa unafikiria unaandaa you take notes sometimes it can take two days three days kuanda even one tweet sometimes yes. akona ah, ni tweet moja mm. ni thread moja mtu kaandika that's In one thread yes day, but yeah. imeandaliwa nimekaa nimefikiria as if ukona sema like ah gilson tunajua kufundisha yani yes yetu unaona najua kufundisha sababu nimekaa nikaifikiria okay, nikaipanga yes. ni ndo nikaiandika. So unakuta sasa una huo muda kwa ndaa hizo content sina muda kwa ndaa those materials na zote materials za ndaa mwenyewe sio kama ni mtu mwingine ananiandikia those materials. So uh, maybe I'll try to to come back and maybe I'll come back way way better and harder. <laughs> yes. Uliko ni kwa nataka yes jaribu kuuliza kwamba yes yeah. size una deal na corporate kwa if na upande wa vijana Mm-hmm. mtu mmoja mmoja pia unafanya training lakini ni kwenye taasisi yes, corporate vile yeah. vile sisi tunatuachaje kwa watu ambao wanatazama hapa sasa hizi they are not corporate hawako huko hawako yeah. kwenye taasisi yes. yes they are solo creator yeah. social media wanataka kupata madini pengine unafikiria kuja na course yani specific ni tabu maybe kitu yes. da yani yeah. nimeidi mpaka naona aibu sasa kwa sababu every now and then nimeidi kufanya yes. na sio kwamba sina yani nimeshaandaa kila kitu yani the moment tu kusema kwamba now i have to do it yes mambo hili linaingilia huko linatokea huko linaingilia huko linatokea huko so now sitaki kuahidi i'll surprise you with something yes. but uh, <laughs> yes there's something that i'm cooking which will be 10 times vile vitu nilivyofanya. Yaani kama wow. kila kitu ambacho watu walichokiona nimefanya uh, consider that was a trailer. Now like there's a real uh, big thing coming. Wow. Na watu wengi watafaidika and I'll make sure mtu yoyote ambaye yupo anafaidika na chochote ambacho nitakuwa nimekuja nacho. The good thing ni kwamba hata ukienda kwenye platform yangu ya X hata ukienda kwenye Insta yes. kuna link iko pale kwenye bio mara nyingi nikiwepo hata kwenye hizi uh, workshop kwenye uh, podcast kama yes, hivi yes. huwa nashauri watu wajaze ile form kwa sababu kuna form iko pale ukiklick yes. it's simple form yeah? like four questions way, kwenye description hapo unaweza kubonyeza eh, yes. ambayo itakuepo yes. great kwa hiyo iko pale mtu akijaza ile form yuko sorted kwa the moment kwa sababu ina, ina utaacha jina email yeah, yako yes, namba yeah. kwa the moment nikianza ma nani yangu yes, you be the first person to notify yeah. yes. so pia ninasistiza wajaze uh, very soon mambo mengi mazuri yatakuja i promise wow. uh, i know i've said this for the <laughs> past one year <laughs> yes <laughs> you know, this time i'll do it for real basi tutakuwa na flaa na sisi binafsi tutakuwa tayari kusupport okay. kushare watu waone na Asante. kwa namna yoyote ile ili watu wapate madini kwa sababu uh, potential yonayo Asante, bro, ni amazing na ni nashukuru sana kwa muda wako Thank kwa kuweza so kuspare time ya ku drive kutoka uliko toka mpaka kufika hapa tukafanya yeah. hii conversation yeah. so maybe neno la mwisho kwa watu ambao wametazama na kuangalia mpaka mwisho kamera yako hiyo Okay. Kwanza you're supposed to subscribe to the channel eh, kama kawaida. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Lakini haya yote ambayo tumeongea kwenye this uh, podcast ya leo itakuwa tu story kama stories zingine zozote ambazo umezisikia uh, kama how to take action. You need to take action. Na so take action. Yaani unajua Uh, kuna kale kajini na kaitaga maimuna kana kuepo ndani yako sasa hizi najua wakati una, unaangalia ama unasikiliza utakuwa unasema ah taanza kesho kesho kuta nitaanza no you need to start today na hakuna siku utakuwa tayari ever yani yes. unajua uh, mimi naweza ukaona na ah, Gilson kashafikia kashajipata lakini still mimi naona bado sijajipata fikiria mimi najiona sijajipata sasa wewe utakuwa unajiona vipi so yes. nani kila siku yajipata so yes. Hakuna siku utajipata. Kila siku, kila siku, kila siku, kila siku utakuwa una struggle. Just start now. 
endelea kuboresha wale umeshaanzisha jambo lako kama ni kujifunza skill jifunze skill kutafuta mentor tafuta mentor ulizia jifunze jifunze apply utojifunza hivyo yani vitu vyote vinakuwa na, na, na baadhi ya opportunity huwa zinatokea uh, ukishaanza ukisha jambo fulani yani ukianzisha tu jambo fulani unashangaa kuna kitu kingine kinajitokeza kuna mtu fulani anatokeza example nilitoa hapo nyuma wakati tunaanzisha kampuni sasa tukujua kwamba eventually tutapata ofisi lakini baada tu kusema tukutane tuanzishe immediately na, na opportunity ya kupata ofisi nao ikaja si na wateja na kadhalika so wewe hapo ambao unatusikiliza don't give up uh, maisha ya jeisha ndio kwanza yameanza kabisa pia msuli material zipo za kusoma za kutosha uh, nenda kwenye social media zangu at @gilsaint kuna form jaza mambo mengi mazuri yatakuja kwa sababu even mentorship tutakuwa nazo wow. tutakuwa tuna mentorship yeah, tutakuwa tuna hizi online courses tutakuwa tuna physical courses tutakuwa tuna ebooks kwa ajili ya watu tofauti tofauti na tutafanya tu only za digital uh, marketing peke yake tutafanya even za online business tutafanya za make money online kwa watu ambao wanataka kuwafanya affiliate to my CPA to my nini all such stuff drop shipping na kadhalika wow. yeye yeah, tuna course za design hiyo uh, na uzuri ni kwamba sisi tu not only tuna yani, yani we want to do 360 yani we train you at the same time we share eva na ukafit na ukafuzu we employ you automatically yani na maana kwa sababu uh, tunatengeneza pia platform ambayo itakuwa tunakutanisha between watu wametoka kwenye course zetu yes. na watu ambao wanatafuta wafanyakazi wa ambao wanahitaji watu wenye skill kama hizo yeah that is very powerful yeah na... so thank you so much kwa kusikiliza na asante sana wow guys hii ilikuwa ni moja ya very powerful conversation na bwana Gilsent na amini umejifunza sana katika description hapo kama unataka kujifunza masuala ya graphic design na content creation kwa ujumla kuna form hapo unaweza kujaza ili kuwasiliana nasi zaidi tuweze kusimamia. Vazi. Okay. Shukrani sana. Asante sana mkuu wangu. See you in the next one.